So another one I'll talk about. Um, I'm a big fan. I'm not sure if you guys um, are, are aware of this, but I'm a huge fan of No Jumper. I'm a huge fan of all the podcasts they've got on their network. Like Adam22 has put together probably one of the best, I think, I don't know what you'd call it in terms of culture stuff. Would you call it hip hop adjacent? I don't know, whatever you'd call that kind of podcast network. But I think he's got the best in terms of range of shows, range of hosts. It's fucking amazing. And one of the best shows on the network is Disconnected, which is hosted by Housephone. And he seems to be one of the most popular characters under the whole Nerd Jumper umbrella, but he's also a little bit of a liability and a little bit of a mess. And somebody recently on Reddit basically exposed him for being a bit of a scam artist and kind of running off on a plug when it comes to the promo. Because I guess he's an influencer of some sort um, because obviously he's well known and he used to be a rapper or he's still a rapper actually. He's got his own brand and um, he's verified on Instagram as well. So I guess that helps. And some people will hit him up for like promotions, like, I don't know, to share stuff on Instagram stories, all that nonsense. Oh, for fuck's sake, Eric C is here again. Always. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's always on here. He's always, um, he's always fucking doing those kind of promo things. Right. And I guess, for whatever reason, these promos like pay pretty well for what I've been hearing. Anywhere between a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars, right? For you to share someone's brand on your stories because you know they think you got reach or think you got influence, and you get paid for two one hundred to five hundred quid straight to your PayPal. I think that's easy light work, right? But for some reason, this guy has phone doesn't and he makes every effort not to do it like not to follow through on the deal really really bizarre kind of guy and someone basically exposed him here on reddit and i'm going to read to you the account and we're going to go through it quickly so it says here do not prom do not do promos with little house phone about two weeks ago my team and i got in contact with house phone um to set up an interview for a youtube channel now personally for me Anybody that into anybody that's paying anyone for an interview, you immediately lost. You've already lost if you're paying someone for an interview. That is legitimately one of the most insane things I've ever heard in my entire life. Paying somebody for an interview. Who does that? Crazy stuff. There's been a couple of times on my podcast, the Excellent Thing of Shows, you check it out, where I have um ask people for interviews like djs and stuff but i never really follow through because i just can't be bothered to back and forth and i also don't want to look submissive or look um like i'm any lesser than them in it because i'm not because i want to be better than them or kind of go over them surpass them in that regard so i'm not really for that and also i just don't like asking people things but i would never in my entire life consider fucking paying somebody i remember once i asked somebody and they're like oh give me the questions before and i'm like bruv you can jog on so i think the guy lost immediately for that but then if you are going to pay somebody, don't pay them the full amount. Maybe give them half up front and then half when you're finished. But anyway, we continue. Prior to reaching out, we had Pathetic Flucko as a guest, right? And who recommended us to try and get House Phone to a channel for interview. While Flucko did not charge us for the interview, House Phone expressed he was interested in being a guest as long as we paid him. And to be honest, I don't think... If, I, if we're being honest, Flacco, Poetic Flacco is a bit of a nightmare on that channel. But also he adds to the views and he's a kind of a good addition on there as a character. I don't think the views between Flacco and House Phone would be that different. I don't think they're going to get that much of a bump from House Phone interview than the Flacco interview. They're probably the same level, in my opinion. Which was fine, um, as us being big fans of New Jumper. House Phone charged us $500 to do an interview. Long story short, House Phone flaked on us twice and to this day has not reached out to refund our money or reschedule the interview. House Phone ran off on us with the money and, gave, and we gave him, while at the same time advertising that he's accepting money for content IG promotions. <laughs> piece of shit i'll attach screenshots along with the post y'all see exactly what we're dealing with but i hope you'll see this is a warning not to buy any promo phone content on from house phone because it's extremely unreliable unreliable sorry and possibly scamming his fans at this point this issue isn't funny but more of the principle of the situation we really did not want to get to this point but we do not know how long it's been doing this for to his viewers and wanted to make you all aware thank you and y'all be smart edit from 16 hours ago right here um it's been 16 hours since i posted this and notice a lot of you are having a hard time finding the comment which i left in the link screenshot so i'm going to do it what i should have done and leave it in the original post my apologies and of course i've got some proof here showing the screenshots i'll get up on the screen actually let's see what this is saying so as you can see the links of these to them talking um reaching out leaving him on red the standard situation you know how the deal goes there and then there's a, and then of course there's a, and then obviously off the back of this, somebody then go in and reached out, I think if I'm not mistaken, 
to House Fun directly, right? Um, and I think spoke about it with him on, on IG, basically, hey, some guys on Reddit are accusing you of running off of the plug. What do you, what's your response? And this is House Fun responding to somebody relaying back that he's now being accused of being a scammer. And he says, LOL, like, really? Um, niggas wishing death upon my mum because I didn't have time to do an interview, right? So <laughs> he's immediately going into victim complex, which I think, in my opinion, this is a classic sign of somebody that's a bit of a scumbag. If you're immediately, if you're being called out for your, um, if you're being called out for the way you're acting and the first thing that you do is try to look for an excuse that will immediately stop anybody from calling you out on anything, that usually is a sign of a piece of shit. It's one thing explaining why you couldn't do it, but immediately running to an excuse of like, oh, you wish death for my mum, all this sort of stuff. It's like, nah, 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 nah. It continues. Instead of just reaching out to work, we figured it out. You do a weird shit. You run to Reddit like that. So, you know, for some reason, the Reddit thing's a big issue. I don't understand that really, because if you're somebody that doesn't know him and you want to resolve the issue, where else are you meant to go? I don't really get that. So that whole thing, it continues here. It said, instead of just reaching out to me and work and figure it out, you do weird shit and run to Reddit. Please, can you post your our DMs to you have my permissions obviously is telling him to reach out and I've been responding to him for da 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 da, da. Um, anyway so the whole point of me bringing this up was as follows it's really unfortunate because it does appear like oh my god my hands are so dry it does appear like as phone is taking for granted his position is taking for granted his influence and is taking for granted um people's kind of affection and you know love for him in that regards because you know there's no way you're paying 500 quid for an interview for house phone just for the views you're definitely doing it because you just want to spend some time with them and hang out and stuff which is understandable but it's a little bit redacted in that respect but i get it and instead of just being a good dude and saying hey i can't do it life has got the best of me because you don't have to explain your situation say you're with your mum to hospital all that stuff it's not you don't need to always call for that excuse i don't think you have to disclose every single detail of your life in order to for people to understand why you can't do something just say hey i can't do it i don't have time but then you can also communicate to people that sooner and you could also just give them the money back and i think if i'm not mistaken when he was on no jumper on the show um what did he say i think he said something like um uh what did he say on the show i think he said something like oh um now, because because they ran to Reddit, he was like, "Oh, either we re no, either you send me your link to send you the money back, or I'm just not going to do the interview, something like that, right?" But there was no like kind of understanding or kind of okay, let's meet you in the middle. Maybe I did do this wrong. It was just all really getting pissed off because he felt like those guys essentially, um, what did they do? They essentially, they essentially kind of empowered people on reddit to go and harass him because he ran off on their 500 but i just think this all could have been sorted out if he just would have returned the money straight away but he didn't want to return it and here we are the situation is what it is and i guess everyone's now kind of hating house phone so it'll be interesting to see what he says in the next show that's coming up i think later on tonight i think about yeah it's happening i think the no jumper um disconnected show is coming up very soon so it's just to see how he replies to it but personally for me i just think if you're a fan of his um you should not be you should not be flipping trying to get him to do stuff like this because you already know how inconsistent how flaky how full of excuses he is in the first place anyway he's not somebody that i'll be running to to kind of do these sort of deals personally in my opinion that's not something i would want to do but again everyone's free to do what the hell they want